In 2015, the automotive industry faced an unprecedented ethical crisis when Volkswagen, a giant in the sector, was exposed for using defeat devices to manipulate diesel emissions tests. This scandal, known as Dieselgate, revealed that Volkswagen vehicles met regulatory standards during laboratory tests, but emitted up to 40 times more nitrogen oxides in real-world driving conditions. This long-form analysis delves into the technical, legal, economic, and ethical aspects of the scandal, its effects on public health, and the automotive industry's trajectory towards sustainability. The Volkswagen emissions scandal remains one of the most significant breaches of corporate ethics in recent memory, involving over 11 million vehicles worldwide. The scandal not only damaged Volkswagen's reputation, but also exposed critical flaws in regulatory oversight and emissions testing procedures. Volkswagen's actions, promoting its TDI diesel engines as clean while secretly bypassing stringent emissions controls, set off a cascade of financial, legal, and public health crises. The scandal's aftermath prompted a reevaluation of diesel technology, regulatory frameworks, and corporate governance. Beyond Volkswagen, it cast a shadow over the entire automotive industry, as subsequent investigations revealed similar discrepancies among other manufacturers. The Volkswagen emissions scandal's origins trace back to 2013, when the International Council on Clean Transportation collaborated with West Virginia University's Center for Alternative Fuels Engines and Emissions. Their mission was to test real-world emissions from diesel cars sold in the United States. The study revealed alarming results. Volkswagen vehicles emitted far more nitrogen oxides on the road than during lab tests. These findings prompted the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to investigate, ultimately exposing Volkswagen's use of defeat devices. This software was programmed to detect when a vehicle was undergoing emissions testing and activate emissions controls to meet regulatory standards in real-world driving, these controls were disabled, significantly increasing nitrogen oxides emissions. Volkswagen's decision to implement this deceptive system was rooted in a cost-saving strategy. The company had attempted to create a proprietary solution to meet emission standards, but failed to achieve compliance without compromising fuel economy or performance. Rather than address the issue transparently, Volkswagen chose subterfuge. To understand the gravity of the Volkswagen emission scandal, it is essential to examine the role of nitrogen oxides emissions and the technology involved. What is nitrogen oxides? Nitrogen oxides are harmful pollutants that contribute to smog, acid rain, and respiratory illnesses. Diesel engines inherently produce higher levels of nitrogen oxides than gasoline engines due to their combustion process. To comply with regulations, automakers deploy emissions control technologies. Volkswagen initially explored using a urea-based selective catalytic reduction system, a proven technology for reducing nitrogen oxides emissions. However, this system was costly and required additional space, making it less viable for Volkswagen's smaller vehicles. Instead, the company developed an in-house lean nitrogen oxides trap system. This solution proved inadequate as it compromised fuel efficiency. Rather than invest in a workable solution, Volkswagen programmed defeat devices to manipulate test results. The software could detect laboratory testing conditions, activating emissions controls during tests, and deactivating them during regular driving. The EPA's notice of violation in September 2015 marked the beginning of a regulatory and legal onslaught against Volkswagen. The scandal prompted investigations in multiple countries, with regulators demanding answers and imposing severe penalties. Volkswagen faced over $33 billion in fines, settlements, and recall costs by 2020. In the United States, the company agreed to a $2.8 billion criminal fine and additional billions for environmental mitigation and consumer buybacks. The scandal resulted in high-profile resignations, including CEO Martin Winterkorn and criminal charges against key executives. The company's board faced scrutiny for failing to detect and prevent such widespread misconduct. In Europe, where most affected vehicles were sold, 
consumer lawsuits highlighted disparities in compensation compared to the U.S. critics argued that Volkswagen's response in Europe was inadequate, reflecting inconsistencies in regulatory enforcement. The financial repercussions for Volkswagen were immediate and severe. Its stock value dropped by over 30% within days of the scandal breaking, erasing billions in market capitalization. The scandal not only tarnished Volkswagen's reputation, but also cast doubt on diesel technology as a whole. Sales of diesel vehicles declined, prompting automakers to accelerate the development of electric and hybrid models. Competitors like Renault and BMW also faced increased scrutiny, revealing systemic issues within the industry. The Volkswagen emissions scandal underscored deep flaws in emissions testing and regulatory oversight. Excess NOx emissions from Volkswagen vehicles were linked to premature deaths and respiratory illnesses. A study estimated that these emissions could cause thousands of health complications globally. The scandal highlighted the ethical pitfalls of prioritizing profit over compliance. It also sparked discussions about the vulnerability of software controlled systems to manipulation. Advocates have since called for open source software to ensure transparency in automotive technologies. Volkswagen's initial attempts to downplay the scandal were met with widespread condemnation. The company's admission of wrongdoing and subsequent actions to compensate consumers varied significantly across regions. In the United States, Volkswagen offered buybacks and financial compensation to affected consumers. In Europe, however, critics argued that the company failed to provide comparable remedies. This disparity eroded trust in the brand, particularly in regions where diesel technology had been heavily marketed as environmentally friendly. The Volkswagen emission scandal serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of corporate deception. It has reshaped the automotive industry, highlighting the need for rigorous regulatory oversight and ethical corporate practices. Transparency and accountability. Automakers must embrace transparency in their technologies and governance structures. Stronger regulations. Regulatory bodies should implement real-world emissions testing to prevent manipulation. Investment in innovation. The scandal underscores the importance of investing in sustainable technologies rather than cutting corners. The scandal has accelerated the shift toward electric vehicles, with Volkswagen pledging to launch 30 new electric models by 2025. As the industry moves forward, the focus must remain on rebuilding consumer trust and fostering a culture of accountability. The Volkswagen emission scandal may be a chapter in the past, but its lessons remain relevant today. As automakers navigate an era of rapid technological advancement, the balance between innovation and integrity will define the industry's future.